I really wasn't planning on doing another Mac V1 video, but here we are. We have a new addition to the fleet. This is the Mac V1 high speed, not Mac V2's, Mac V1 high speed. We return to some of the original features of the Mac V1, but we strip it down and make this sort of a lightweight high speed edition. What makes it high speed? We'll get to that. But just as a general review, we've had the original Mac V1s with the original more slick sole added to them. We had a sort of a reboot to the Mac V1s. This one, <laughs> reboot, reboot. We had a, a second sole added. This one's a little more grippy. Um, definitely liked that addition. It was kind of a happy medium between the slicks, which I do love really for every day use. And then just a little more tread if you were gonna take them off road. And then we stepped it up a notch with the Mac V2, the most recent release prior to this, with this more aggressive sole and a wider toe box, some other little things they've added to it. It's just a little different boot as we, when we did the review of this one, I'll link it uh, up here if you wanna go back and watch the Mac V2 specific video, but this is just, you know, boat. That was like the biggest difference was the bottom and then some other differences. You'll also note that I love the Mac V series of boots, mostly for a round town, go anywhere, do anything style of boot, but I've also had problems when I ruck with them. I've got an issue, my feet are just not compatible with the heel cup in this design, and so I end up with, after about four or five miles, some hot spots on my heels with all these boots, and I put close to 250 more than that on these boots smiles as I trained and they just they tore up for rucking but you know I can use them I obviously use the heck out of these boots these are my everyday backyard garage around town boots I've used all these in that same capacity like them for what they are did reviews on all these boots but now we have the high speed and originally I wasn't planning to do a video on the high speed because it just didn't look all that compelling that I needed to put a video together but here we are why because as we rewind the clock, the first time I got a pair of Mac V1 boots and I got them out of the box, put them on my feet, they were awesome. I just loved how light they were and out of the box comfortable they were. They require no break-in period. The suede is just probably my favorite and it just, you know, just great boots right out of the box. This takes it up a notch because they're just kind of a destructured um, boot with no toe caps, no heel caps. Those are really the biggest differences. And they use a lighter, they say 25% lighter style of suede. You can kind of tell that from the video that they're just a little different. Now they have the second iteration, Mac V1, same bottom that we saw there, same exact thing. So it's a Mac V1, but sort of destructured. And Jason posted a video, you know, why they went with this, because essentially the issued boots back in the military days were too heavy, so they would take their boots to the shop, they would destructure them, take them apart, take out some pieces and parts, put them back together so they would have a more, I don't know, trainable, wearable boot for everything they would do in special ops, which is cool. And that is exactly how I feel about these boots. You get them out of the box and they're just like a pair of slippers, but they look like this and they're just super comfortable. And so just like I had the same experience I had with the first edition of the boots where I put them on, like these are great, I could do anything. I put these on. Now, of course, these are the taller boot, which I didn't have previous, but I wanted to try them out. And so here they are. And again, they're just fantastically comfortable right out of the box. Now again, no uh, heel issues because there's no heel cap in there. It's just the material sewn right to the sole and the same thing with the toe so just really really super comfortable going to be wearing these probably all winter uh, because they're just super comfortable and really a lot more packable i mean do that thing just compresses all the way down put it inside your suitcase and go anywhere uh, compared to these which just aren't you know the the, the, the hoe ho. the heel and toe just definitely um, make that a little more challenging with that style of boot but not so with these in fact the Low top versions can be even more, but these are the high tops, which is just nice and cool. Wore these in the backyard and avoided some snake bites. But... Whoa, 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 whoa. but anyway, 
that is just very nice. And again, the reason I wasn't going to do these videos because I just didn't, you know, it's just another version of the boot. But they're so comfortable. And I wanted to explain why and tell you that they are super comfortable. You should check them out uh, because I just think they're awesome. Weight savings. Uh, in the Mac V2 video, I put up weights for all the boots, so you can go back and watch those. This sort of fits right about here in terms of weight. It's about two ounces lighter than the comparable boot. Now, I don't have the taller version of the previous boot, so I'm using my weighed weights and what they say. Now, my weights are a little bit heavier than what they list on the website, but just extrapolating all that data, punchline means these are about two ounces lighter two ounces weight shaved from the comparable boot and that is significant but it's not a ton of weight savings they do feel lighter on my feet but really for me the biggest the awesomeness really comes into the just the comfort of these boots yeah they're not as protected but they are just i don't know like an old pair of shoes slippers almost except they've got pretty cool tread and that's it that's the Mac V2. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Lots more coming out. A lot of GORUCK stuff coming out. Man, they've been keeping me busy. I didn't do a GORUCK Dyneema video, but I'm going to cover some of that stuff in a future video. More coming out soon. So there you go. See you in the next video. We're going to get outside. Probably in those boots right now. I wasn't intending to do another Mac V video. I wasn't planning on doing another Mac V video, but I wasn't planning on doing. I really wasn't planning on doing another Mac V video until we had. I wasn't planning on doing another Mac V1 video. Yeah.